left hand one was kind of your before okay takeover is pretty good club going back nicely nice hinge of the wrist going back there so no range of motion issues there in terms of that hinging top of the back finger, but you can see your hands sort of moving there now from up over towards your right sort of shoulder there going back out in front club now goes down through your head and at this point here now we can see the golf club very much outside your hands there's the hands here now that club's going to come into the golf ball with no real power or ability to create power and chop right across as you come into the golf ball here now that club's very much again you can see outside the hands cutting across it the ball's either struck very well and goes left or is weak and just cuts to the right okay so the feeling you want to try and get from here now is top let the arms just drop down okay so the club now you can see the hands are working down under the shoulder here staying back kind of here rather than what they were going over the top there okay so hands working down do a couple of these bump bump bumps and then go and if you look at the club now as it comes to the golf ball at this point now with the hands are going to level with the club if we go back to this one here now there's the club head level with your hands there's your hands there's the club head and there's your hands. There's the club that came back into it, coming into that. Is it coming into the golf ball now? That's coming more on a direct line compared to where he's coming from. Okay. I mean, like, yeah. way across the yeah, ball yeah. there. Yeah. And if you're in a golf ball from that direction, the, the chance of making contact with the centre part of the club when you're coming this way, mm. you get toe, heel or middle quite easily. Yeah. If the ball's half a millimetre too far forward or too far back, you're going to catch the ball a bit later, a bit earlier, you'll be towing it in until your contact's going to be weaker, plus the fact you're not going to use the sweet spot. So it's just another sort of a power sort of loss. Then, of course, you try and whack it harder, and yeah. it gets even worse. So, yeah. so getting that club to work across this way, coming more down the tie line, see the ball now going up down the screen there, tracking down that green line, much more where you want to go. Whereas this one here now was a reasonable strike, but just going left straight away, going towards that 100 yard sign. And if we look at those shots on there now, a good majority of your shots are still left, aren't they? Most of those are yellow balls. So what you would then do as a challenge on this screen here now, <coughs> excuse me, yellow is left and red is right. So there's a red ball on the right hand side, if you're just about just the one, just that lone red, that, no, there's, no, there's, three, there's, three, there's three, there's three. One by the green and two on the right there, okay? So what you would then do is hit maybe 10 shots with a club at a certain distance and try and see how many you can get that are white golf balls and set yourself a challenge. Can you get three? Can you get five? Can you get seven? Or whatever it may be. And then when you get to a certain level, should we say at 50 yards, you go to 75. And then can you get the same number again at, and then you go to 100? And then you could go up and up and up to try and build up to longer shots to get the feeling of what that club is going to do. What I would say in terms of your practice swings, you can do this sort of bump, bump, bump drill from behind the ball as a practice swing. When you then step to the ball, club, move the ball back a smidgen but just hit it don't think about oh, all the swings mm -hmm. and no, all your yeah. thinking is, is done behind here behind the golf yeah. ball okay yeah. on here we can do some thoughts because we obviously hit some shots like a practice mm -hmm. swing and just trying to get some mm -hmm. feelings there but when you're on the golf course you're back here behind this line looking at your shot thinking about what you need to do then when you step to the golf ball it's just ball club look hit mm -hmm. yes potentially if your path is kind of there at the moment when you just do the practice drills, we'll start moving it there, and then in time, it will start moving there, and then in time, it will start moving there. It's not going to go straight away that way, obviously, yeah. but the more drills we can do with that feeling, if needs be, slow it down to a speed that okay, I can do it almost guaranteed. Another good drill, you're talking about the wall again, we can make some swings actually with the golf club, okay, up against a wall. So you actually swing with it. If you imagine there's a skirting board or a wall there. The club goes back here now. In theory, I'll put that back there a second. There's a straight wall there. Your club now should swing up here in that line, up there, and then loop back down and around there. Shouldn't touch the wall. But if we actually look at your swing here now as you go back, no end of the wall, and that's fine. The wall over the top. Oh, you dented it. So some swings up against a the wall there just to give you a feeling of where that club is going to come into on more of this kind of gentle curve there, not out that way. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. Good yeah. stuff. Okay, have a couple more. Just have the last few to finish up. Just, yeah. just no real thoughts so, over the ball, just I've all never hit. actually thought about how to win. Uh, very, people, yeah, very few so. people do have that sort of concept in there. They, yeah. they, they just see a ball going one way or other, and they might try and just move their alignment with their feet or whatever. So, yeah, but yeah get the ball in the right position at set up, and then just feel more in terms of the club swinging more into. The club never gets above or outside where it starts, okay?